interface and functionalities. The GeoMapper PH interface has six sections. The header contains the logos of partner agencies, organizations, or projects, and followed by the application title. There are two hyperlinks in the header. The first one will direct you to a downloadable file of the UPDI Structural System Guidelines, which you can use as a guide in filling in the data. The other one is a link to Hazard Hunter PH, another platform developed by GRIS PH that allows you to generate hazard assessment reports of a specified location. The next section is the web map. At the upper left side, you can find a set of tools. You can set the initial map extent using the zoom in or zoom out button or you can also use the default map extent. This icon shows you a variety of base maps that you can choose from. This one right here lets you add data to the map. And this ruler allows you to measure the area of a polygon or length of a line. Surrounding the web map are four panels. This is the Legends and Layer List panel. The legend displays the labels and symbols for the layers on the map. The Layer List tab provides you the list of operational layers. You can enable or disable a layer by simply checking and checking the box beside it. The Download panel allows you to select a specific area on the map and download the features and its accompanying data in CSV and GDB format. On the upper right, you can find the Smart Editor and Geometry Editor. The Smart Editor is used for creating new features, while Geometry Editor is for editing the existing features on the map. To visualize and monitor the attributes and statistical data of your map, there is an infographic panel at the lower right side. At the bottom of the web map, you can find the attribute table which can be opened, resized, or closed. The attribute table is basically a tabular view of the operational layer's attributes. It also contains a set of tools which will be further discussed in another video.